The Ironman 70.3 race returned to Roanoke today, but the future of the race in the Star City is uncertain due to upcoming construction. 10 News reporter Abby Coleman spoke with racers today that say the race helped them fall in love with our Star City. I'm here at River's Edge, where after months of training, thousands of athletes are making their way across the finish line of the Ironman 70.3. Up before the sun, athletes from across the country gathered at Carvin's Cove Sunday to start the swimming portion of the race. This year's Ironman makes five total for racer Haley Reber. Out of all of the Ironmans I've done, this is the most beautiful venue we have been to. After swimming 1.2 miles, competitors bike 56 miles on the Blue Ridge Parkway. Reber says the parkway is the whole reason she picked the course. My husband and I are so excited to climb the claw today out of Buchanan. So we chose this race so that we could do the five mile climb. Finally, racers run a half marathon to finish it out. Dan Grimm is a part of a relay team and ran the final 13.2 miles. I've lived here in Roanoke for about two years um, and having the course that goes right by my apartment over in Wasina. Um, it's awesome just having this as a hometown event. Reber says the Iron Man has given her a lot to love about the Star City. We want to come back and vacation in Roanoke now. We fell in love with Roanoke. She says anyone can do an Iron Man if they set their sights on it. 11 years ago, could not ride my bike three miles. I was very out of shape. Um, I had younger children and I just decided that I needed to be healthier for them and then my journey begins. Organizers say they don't know when or if the race will return, but people I spoke with say they hope it comes back soon. In Roanoke, Abby Coleman, 10 News, working for you.